Brian's here. Hi. Hey, Brian. How's it going? Better? It's going good. What's up? Was Brian our uh, our? Uh, Brian's the master gunner. Yes, Brian. Glad to meet you, sir. Yes. Hey, Brian. Hello. So, Brian, uh, how long did you guys train to account for the Coriolis effect when you were uh, learning to shoot? Never. Never. That's that means never. That's, why not, Brian? If the Earth's rotating, then uh, would wouldn't you have to take that into account? Would that uh, affect or where you did, what were you shooting? Uh, 120 and below. Okay, so what's the max distance on those things? <laughs> Pretty far. Would you say farther than your standard or average rifle? Bullet? Oh, yeah, several miles. Okay, so, see, this doesn't make sense. Uh, we get docu all these documents. Uh, we have to take the Coriolis effect into account for ballistic miss and missiles and ballistics. Uh, none of our actual field manuals, which are very hard to get a hold of, the actual training manuals, ever mention this. And uh, none of the soldiers uh, or people we talked to ever mentioned this. They do. Wait, I got, I got to correct you on that. There is a Coriolis effect supposedly in the training manuals, and I've seen them. Just never used them. Never had to use them. So you've actually seen them in a real manual. Not made for yes. public release, not uh, labeled top secret, and made. It's uh, called a firing secret. table. It's called a firing table, yeah. Firing okay. Table. There is supposedly in there, but we never used it, ever. Were you told not to use it? No. Just never. Isn't that because it doesn't, it does, you, like, you don't have to start accounting for it until they say, like, a, over a thousand yards or whatever, right? No, I mean no. I shoot a lot further. I shoot further than that. Or not? Maybe, maybe, it's it's, uh, it's kind of like if you ask a geodetic surveyor when does he use the mass for the curvature, they know it, but they never used it. It's one of those things they're taught, but they've never actually used it. So you this table, I'm saying, uh, does this table take into account for different places? Like maybe if you're stationed. You know, in South Australia, the uh, spin rate of the Earth is far different than, say, if you're stationed they, in uh, Texas. It does and it doesn't. See, the problem I've had with it is it takes in latitude of where you are in longitude, but it doesn't take in effect which way you're firing, which would – technically, that would ha you'd have to know which direction you're firing, no matter which way you are, because east and west would be exact opposites reaction. Right. So then, that's actually in manuals. It, there is a calculation in manuals that you can find, but ironically, it's not used. Here's my quick question, real quick. What is this hangout? What am I in? What did you all draw me in? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was Candy's idea. Well, it's but fine. I'm just glad wondering. you answered that. Glad you. Well, you answered a great question. This is the roast of Brian Burton. Didn't you hear? Yeah, he's here. Oh, I don't give a shit. You roast me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, here, here, here's the thing, okay? There is calculations in the manuals and all that. However, it's just like my tanks. And the tanks, they have computers that calculate all this shit, supposedly. We got, we got gyros and everything else, okay? However, when, for lack of better words, I don't know if we're live or not, when shit hits the fan... I have manual ways of doing things, and nowhere do I put in where I am on the planet, as they call it, or which direction, or Coriolis effect, or anything else. Nowhere do I ever do that in manual calculation. There is a formula to do it, but never had to do it, and I've never missed, so I'm not too worried about it. So no, I do not, those stories of snipers taking effect and all that never happen. And I've known snipers, and they've never done it either. So these are your YouTube Gunworks type snipers that shoot tin cans out in the backyard. Okay, I'm talking about military grade snipers that actually shoot. So the military grade <laughs> snipers do not take into account the Coriolis effect. I've yeah. asked. I've never. I've never met one to actually do it. I was talking to a uh, a marine on Saturday at the meetup, 
with Jaron in Palmdale. And right. he's he still, he still, he still does. Uh, he's an instructor, and he's still uh, not for the military anymore, but just private. Right. And we were talking about like the Coriolis and the curve of the earth and spin of the earth and all that, and he was just yeah, it's, it's a bunch of crap. It is. It's it's a bunch of crap. So then, if that is in your manual, Brian. Then do they explain in the manual how an aircraft would be able to land again if they have given you calculations for the Coriolis effect and ballistic firing? No, see, here's the funny thing. They don't really explain. So when I calculate where, excuse the animals, when I calculate where um, a round goes, they give us this formula, and there is a spot to put, quote, your latitude, longitude, but when you do the math and all that, it, it's irrelevant. Is it's almost doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It's a dummy equation almost. They don't tell you that. They just this is what you do, and this is what we do. And we do go through this stuff, but you never take effect of where you are on the. I'm going to have to use global terms. Sorry, where you are on the planet, and which direction you're facing, and how, how high up you are, and the, it, the calculations aren't there. It's almost a dummy equation in there. You don't need it. You really don't. I've never had to use it and never had a problem. Okay. Well, that is interesting, Brian. I appreciate you sharing that with us. You know, that, and that's my thing. If those calculations were needed, then my thing is airplanes would also be affected. And Exactly. Airplanes would need it. Helicopter, right. balloons, all kinds of things. And there's no way a helicopter, airplane, or balloon is going to land on something that can spin much faster than what it's rated to fly. And also, you got to figure, too, think about a guy on the ground. There is no way he can calculate or have the instrumentation not only to figure out where he is exactly, but which direction he's firing and to do the calculation for how fast it's turning. And it's That's a heck of a math problem. Maybe a computer could do it, but a guy on the ground... No. Nah. So, have you been in combat situations before? Yes. And so, when you're in combat situations, isn't reaction time important? Yeah, if you don't react, you die. It's pretty simple. Okay, so you <laughs> probably wouldn't have the uh, 10 minutes or so to sit there and figure out all that out, would you? No. No, our manual, the way I fire my tank manually and all that... No, we set everything up prior for a manual shooting. But like I said, once I go to manual, there's no where I am on the planet. There is no which direction I'm firing. Is it going northeast, west for the spin or anything? It's not there. None of it's there. And you've never had issues, no matter where you're at, nope. not calculating the Coriolis effect? Never. Wow. Wow. This is a good section to hang out, guys. If anything, we should uh, cut this part out with the things Brian told us. It's uh, and uh, put that on our channels. It's some good stuff because I I did a thing on Earth, uh, Earth spin and, and a plane landing, and uh, I'm just not buying the fact that the Earth's rotating as fast as they claim, if at all. If the Earth was rotating like they said and all, if it play devil's advocate, if it was and everything. Then they're lying to us on how they calculate it. It's basically my background is most of the shit they tell us is a lie because it doesn't make sense by their own terms. It doesn't make sense when you compare it. So in the military, they they give you the manuals and the things, but they don't enforce the things they know is a bunch of nonsense. Is that kind of what you're saying? Well. You're trained on how to do things, and then when it happens, you do it. And if you're wrong, they go back and double-check you, but I've never known anyone to be wrong by not using any Coriolis effect. Does that make sense? Yeah, correct. So it's kind of strange that they would have that in the manuals <laughs> if it's not needed. It is, but it's almost like they talk about gyros on planes and self-correction on gyros, which doesn't make sense. It's in the manuals, but in practical use, I've never seen it practically applied, I guess the word to be used. 
Okay, it's so almost this like it's written in there to explain a question, but it doesn't really. It's not used. Makes sense. So this is how you can have a whole bunch of employees working at NASA and and still be clueless as to what's going on if they never apply the stuff themselves. If you compart compartment ties everything and people go, well, how do we, the gyroscope stays physical in space? How do we take account for when it goes around? And it goes, well, using this calculation, it should automatically, we'll adjust it, da, 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 but it's never actually used. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like I've always, like I talked to a geodetic surveyor once for about an hour, a friend of mine, and he was explaining to me, and he explained to me all the things he learned about the curvature of the earth and the calculations and all that. He, I, I let him talk for like an hour. Seriously, he explained everything to me. And then I asked him one question. When did you practically ever use it? He paused. Well, I never have. I was like, okay, but you learned it and I got it and I got you all your knowledge, but you've never actually used it. Why? And that was the end of the conversation. Amazing. Because they didn't actually think about it. They know but, what they were taught, but when it actually comes to use, it's kind of like a pilot flying. If you ask them the question, well, you ever nose up or nose die or whatever? And they go, well, no. They just, you don't think about it when you're doing the jobs half the time. You just, you're doing your job, and you're doing it the way it works and all that, and you just don't think about all the other sh stuff. And so your job is to make sure you're accurate and keep safe and keep the people you're with safe to the best of your ability. And none yep. of this other stuff comes into play. Never had to use it. That's some amazing information, Brian. Thank you. I mean, maybe someone's used it, but I've never met anybody to use it. I'll tell you that. And you've met a lot of people that had an opportunity to use these things. Oh, yeah. It's a shame at the time I never asked the question, really, but I no, we've never used it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, again, you're doing your job. You never think about flat or curve. You're just doing your job. So you never <laughs> thought about it. Amazing. Anybody else got questions for Brian? That, that's some great stuff.